in this video we are going to make this amazing character i am going to tell you a lot of techniques some cool effects and how you can make a character for your own video game from game developer diary and uh, today we are going to talk about how can you make game art for video games so be sure to see the video till the end leave a like on my video hit that subscribe button and let's begin the first thing any drawing application will ever ask you is what is the resolution that you want so this the resolution that is popping on the screen right now is the resolution that i use uh, you can use a different resolution but i like this quite a lot and uh, this is the resolution that i use for my backgrounds so i have different resolutions i do not use the same resolutions for all so the next thing that you have to figure out is what is the outline style that you like so i personally go with 20 you can go with uh, any one that you like i use 20 outline this is 20 outline this is 40 outline and this is 70 outline you can use 10 to detail in 20 you can use 40 to detail in 70 and 20 to detail in 40 so after that you have to make your first sketch so the sketching process you need to really keep the lines rough no need to make them very accurate and very amazing and after you are done sketching you can once go over them and this time very nicely and cleanly you have to fill them because this is going to be the last outline so after doing all that let me show you an image so this image what do you achieve or what do you see from this image two things that you see from this image if it is lights and shadows you are quite correct so now comes the coloring part and uh, we are going to add colors to our drawings so make a new layer and uh, put it under the layer where you have drawn the outline basically if you want to make a character game ready you have to make lots of layers you have to make layers for each and every part of him so like one layer for head another layer for body another layer for hand another layer for legs and uh, all that stuff i would recommend making a layer for head hands legs body and uh, that's pretty much it and after that you have to going to fill in our character with colors so you can either choose a palette or uh, you know just fill in the colors whichever you like or you can fill in real life colors like i i am doing one thing to remember is never take an over saturated color because it will give horrible terrible effects so let's make a new layer called the color layer and let's put it under our outline so if you are making for the head put it under the head like uh, under the layer of the head if you are making for body put it under the layer of body because then the color won't go outside your outlines and it will stay inside those outlines as you can see on the screen right now so for this effect you need to make the layer under 
the object so you have taken your color you have you have filled your whole character as you can see i have also filled my whole character it's time for shadows and highlights so you need to decide a position for the sun or the light source and uh, all of those sides of the drawing will get highlighted and the other sides will become shadowed so take a color take the color of the body or any color whatever you have chosen and uh, after taking that color make it very very bright so make it very bright and then you can add highlights on one side remember to keep the same color if you misplace the color or if you add some other color for the skin tone it won't look good like one is darker another one lighter another one super light that won't look good for the shadows you have to go vice versa go and take a pretty dark color not too dark or it will spoil your drawing and just just make it at uh, sides one side of the body and also to give it a realistic look we have to add add shadows wherever the objects are in front of our drawing so as you can see here the hair is in front of my character so i have added this darker color behind him so after all that is done we are going to talk a very very different thing that is glow effect this is a special effect that i am going to tell you so yeah thanks for sticking on till this time and you are going to learn how to make a glow effect make your brush size very high change the opacity to very low hardness to very low and your force to very low and choose the brightest color whichever you want to make choose the over saturated color of whichever color you have used and just dab your brush like you do in real life but in digital art and dab it wherever you want it to become bright and after you have done with that it will be perfect it is it is absolutely done thank you everyone thank you for watching till the end if you enjoyed the video hit that like button hit that subscribe button go to my itch.io page and chill pill and make games